Hi everyone, today we are going to solve the lead code question, asteroid collision. So we are given array asteroids of integer representing asteroids in a row. For each asteroid, the absolute value represents its size, and the sign represents its direction, like positive means right, negative means left. Uh, each asteroid moves at the same speed. Find out the state of the asteroids after all collisions. If two asteroids meet, the smaller one will explode. Uh, if both are same size, both will explode. Two asteroids moving in the same direction will never meet. So let's see the example. So you are given 5, 10, minus 5. So in this case, um, so asteroid 5 move right and a 10 move right, but the minus 5 move left. In that case, um, at first, um, 10 asteroid and minus 5 asteroid uh, meet each other, and the absolute value is, so 10 is 10 and uh, minus 5 is 5, so 10 is bigger than uh, minus 5. In that case, minus 5 explode, will explode, so that's why um, output is 5, 10. And let's see the example too. So asteroid 8 and minus 8. And uh, so in this case, 8 move right, uh, minus 8 move left, and a collision happen. But the uh, absolute value is the same. So 8 is 8, minus 8 is also 8. So in that case, um, both uh, asteroids will explode, so that's why output is an uh, empty list. Okay, so to solve this question, first of all, we should know when um, collisions happen. So look at the first uh, example. So in this case, minus 1 move left, minus 3 also move left, and the 5 move right, and 9 move right. In this case, collision never happened, so output is empty list, so it's obvious. And I look at the second question, 10 move right, minus 5 move left, 3 move right, and minus 6 move left. In this case, uh, collision happened, so in the end, so collision happened when we find uh, um, asteroid moving right fast, and then after that, find the uh, um, asteroid uh, moving left. In that case, uh, collision happen. From this example, we can come up with a condition. So new asteroid is less than zero, and the old asteroid is greater than zero. In that case, collision happen. But how can we keep the old Asteroids, it's simple. We use stack. Every time um, we find a, a asteroid and then check the condition. And uh, if the uh, asteroid the remain, we need to add the asteroid to stack. So let's begin. So first of all, we find a 10. But uh, uh, this is the first asteroid, so collision never happened. So that's why we need a 10 here, stuck. And then let's move next. So we find a minus 5. And uh, this is a new asteroid. So <coughs> new asteroid is less than 0. And the uh, old asteroid is now 10. So we meet this condition. In that case, compare minus 5 and 10. And uh, 10 is uh, greater than uh, minus 5, but uh, 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 because the absolute value is 10 and the absolute value of minus 5 is 5. So 10 is uh, uh, like, uh, stronger than minus 5. In that case, uh, we don't add minus 5 to stack. So move next. And we find three, but a uh, new collision is actually greater than zero. In that case, we don't do anything; just add three to stack. 
and then move next. And then we find a minus 6. So new asteroid is minus 6. So that is a less than 0. And how about the old asteroid? So now stack has two asteroids. But uh, compare from the latest asteroid, so which is 3. So 3 is uh, yeah, uh, greater than 0. In that case, compare minus 6 and 3. And the absolute value of minus 6 is 6, and the 3 is 3. So minus 6 is uh, stronger than 3. In that case, we pop the 3 from stack because uh, 3 asteroids will explode. But uh, still, minus 6 moving left and uh, 10 still moving right. So sometimes, so these two asteroids uh, will, uh, will be uh, like a collision. So in that case, a uh, new asteroid is a great, uh, less than 0, minus 6. And then old asteroid 10 is a greater than 0. In that case, we need to compare. So my absolute value of minus 6 is 6. Absolute value of 10 is 10. And I compare two numbers. So 10 is uh, stronger than 6. In that case, so minus 6 will explode. And the 10 will, re will remain. And then move next, but there is no asteroid. So in that case, we need to uh, return only 10 here. So that is a basic idea to solve this question. With that being said, let's get into, into the code. OK, so let's write the code. First of all, I create a stack and then start looping for A in asteroids. So A is a new asteroid and I use while. So stack has asteroid and the new asteroid is less than zero. And the latest asteroid in stack is greater than zero. In that case, collision happened. So we need to compare two asteroids. So if absolute value of new asteroid, so A minus, is greater than latest asteroid in stack, minus one, in that case, um, so latest asteroid in stack will explode. So we need to pop, uh, not less stack, dot pop. And then new asteroid uh, still uh, alive. So uh, to continue compare, so we need to, so continue, um, continue. So what I'm trying to do like a uh, uh, minus a is actually it's same as like an absolute a because uh, when we when we execute this if condition we know that a is definitely a negative number so to get the absolute value just uh, multiply minus minus one so that's easy and uh, else if so absolute value of new asteroid equal latest asteroid in stack. So if they are same, both asteroids will explode. So just stack dot pop. And then after that, just a break. And uh, else, so this is a while else. So if we don't meet this condition. In that case, just uh, add new asteroid to stack. So append A. So actually, that's it. After that, just return uh, stack. So let me submit it. Yeah, looks good. And the time complexity of this solution should be uh, order of n because uh, the stack like a push and the pop each asteroid at most once and the space complexity is also order of n because uh, potentially we have to add all asteroids to stack so that's why order of n so let me summarize step by step algorithm this is a step by step algorithm of asteroid collision step one initialize stack step two 
start looping if you meet the condition below the continue to compare absolute values of the two asteroids so new asteroid is less than zero and the old asteroid is greater than zero so old asteroid means the latest asteroid in stack so if the new asteroid is bigger than old one then pop asteroid from stack and they continue if the if they are same size of asteroids then just pop asteroid from stack if not the case is above add a new asteroid to stack yeah that's it i hope this video helps you understand this question well if you like it please subscribe the channel hit the like button or leave your comment i'll see you in the next question